Hello everyone, so Cheddar here bringing a short keyboard discussion about a keyboard I recently purchased. This discussion is for the 71 DIY Mechanical Keyboard Kit with the full product title including customized RGB Bluetooth wired PCB plate plastic case switches stabilizers. The keyboard kit costs 45 US dollars. The keyboard kit comes with a plastic case, an aluminum plate, a PCB plate mounted stabilizers, a battery, USB split module, and a USB cable, as well as rubber feet and screws. The box provides additional information on the keyboard, saying that the keyboard is a key cool gaming keyboard with Bluetooth and RGB. I will provide a link to where I bought the product in the video description. It is worth mentioning that this keyboard can be found in the assembled form, but I'm not sure how similar the parts are or the comparative costs. The case only comes in a white color. The plate has options for gold, black, and silver. However, at the time of creating this video, only silver was available. I was intending to select silver, so this did not discourage me. The plate properly outlines each switch so you can safely use PCB mount switches for the entire build without having to worry about switch alignment. The locations for the screws on the plates are countersunk nicely so that the screws sit flush with the top of the case. And interestingly enough, the keyboard comes with six bump on feet, which I think are a great design. However, the front pair I had to trim down because they did not fit in the slots provided. I did this with a knife on a cutting board. And you can see the feet here. So it has one, two, three, and the front two were the two that I had to trim down. The flip out feet are easy to assemble, solid and have plastic pads on the ends. And overall they seem to function fine. Also, the front of the keyboard is very low meaning it, that it is comfortable to use without a wrist rest. To, for, to rephrase this, what I mean is that the distance from the surface the bottom of the keyboard is resting on to the top of the aluminum plate where the switches are mounted is smaller than most keyboards I've used. And that distance can be seen here. I find this an important factor in having a comfortable typing experience. The keyboard also has a slight natural angle to it, but it is very minimal and doesn't bother me. I would guess that it is two to three degrees angled at most naturally. And the case and plate are assembled with screws. However, the case also contains a ledge for the plate to mount and rest on so that the keyboard isn't resting entirely on screw mounts. I dislike many 60% tray style cases because the plates mount directly onto screw mounts. While it makes the design and compatibility easy, I believe that it takes away from an opportunity to make a more solid case with a properly designed plate to have synergy with its respective case. The layout for the keyboard is set. Both the PCB and the plate on are, are intended to support a specific layout as seen on the product page and seen in front of you here. This keyboard is not programmable. The PCB has a micro USB connector that is located right above the zero key here. Interestingly enough, it is not directly in the middle of the keyboard, but it's offset slightly to the right side. The keyboard does seem to have some RGB options, but I haven't played around with them and don't intend to. I'm assuming that these have to be soldered on, possibly SMD LEDs, but I didn't bother soldering any, or switch LEDs for that matter. For those looking into the RGB capabilities of this board, I apologize for not being able to provide additional information. However, reviewing the product page linked in the description may help to answer some of your questions, as well as contacting the seller. The stabilizers feel okay, but they're a bit loud, and they are not genuine cherry stabilizers. I think with lube, they're perfectly usable. And from my quick first impressions, I believe they're better quality than some of the other cheap stabilizers I've used in the past with budget kits. The battery in the keyboard states that it is 1,200 1, milliamp hours, 3.7 volts, and 4.4 watt hours. 
The standby time is said to be 14 days, while the working time is said to be 20 hours. I haven't been able to test the battery strength yet. However, I did pair this with my iPhone 8 and it was easy. I switched on the Bluetooth mode with the switch on the back of the keyboard and the device appeared and connected in a moment. In a recent podcast, Don and I discussed the battery requirements for keyboards and I mentioned to him that I think I could easily use a Bluetooth keyboard with 8 to 12 hours of working time. I justified this by saying that I would likely plug the keyboard in after leaving my desk and as long as it's good to go for the next time I sit down, I'd be more than happy. I likely will not be testing this keyboard in any long-term capacity because I have other multiple 65% keyboards that I'm much more preferential towards. The switches I put in this keyboard are Gateron Browns. I had some Gateron Brown stems as well as Gateron Red switches assembled. I had 55 gram gold plated springs I combined these to create Gateron Browns, which are 55 gram. I did not have any lube, so these switches are currently unlubed, and I have a strong preference towards switches that are looped, so I'm not really enjoying using these switches. At my desk, I have been using the finer things in life, such as my Leopold FC660C, and these switches do not come close to competing on the consistency or sturdiness that I associate with Topra switches. The size of this keyboard is between a TKL, a 75%, and a 65%. The keyboard is very similar layout to a TKL, however the top row is completely cut off, the function row. On top of that, the nav cluster is brought in directly next to the backspace and pipe key, as the arrow cluster directly to the bottom of, as is the arrow cluster directly to the bottom right of the control key here. And this actually makes a lot of sense and gives the keyboard a smaller footprint on the right mouse side. However, for those who like the aesthetic of the TKL with separated, separated nav cluster and arrow clusters, you might not like this. The, the layout maintains a standard keycap size throughout it, so replacing keycaps is very easy. Please note though that this keyboard does not include any keycaps and did not have an option to add them into the kit. For anyone wondering, the keycap on this example keyboard is GMK Hyperfuse, a double shot ABS keycap set that costs anywhere between 150 and 200 USD. The artisans on this keyboard, seen on the WASD, escape key, and the question mark key, are Cats and Kinder keycaps, which I had purchased from a sale, I think over one year ago now. So why did I buy this keyboard? I've been interested in trying a Bluetooth keyboard and I saw that this keyboard had a unique layout. I also haven't built a keyboard in six plus months, so I decided to take a chance on it. I did build it quite hastily and likely should have waited till I had switches that I was more interested in, as well as loops for the stabilizers and stems. So in conclusion, this keyboard does everything that I expected. Without lube for the stabs and switches, I don't really love the feel of this keyboard. I think that this is a niche keyboard, but fits two niches nicely, which is the unique layout as well as the Bluetooth feature. Additionally, the cost is very competitive, and the case design and size are also something unique and different. A complaint that I did have was that the screws, the screw holes were not set with metal, so when you are un when you are screwing in screws into the keyboard, you are pushing them directly into the plastic case. I think that this keyboard could have problems if you unscrewed it and screwed it in too many times due to the screw mounts failing. So that is all for my keyboard review of the um, 71 DIY mechanical keyboard kit, and I'll make sure to include the link to the to um, where I purchased this product in the description and thank you all for listening.